All praises, honor, and glory go to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls the Most High. Yahweh Shah is the true name of his only begotten Son, the King and Savior of Israel, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Israel is the Lord's people, the Hebrew Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And some of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, look like the other nations because we were scattered based on our punishment that is written in Deuteronomy 28, the curses, I believe it's 15 on down to 68. But I'm going to start this off with Romans. Chapter 10, verse 2. It say, for I bear them record that they have a zeal for the most for the of the most high, but not according to knowledge. And that mainly goes on in these Christian churches. They got the zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge because they don't have the true name. They they're not preaching the word like Yahweh told them to, our Lord, and they just they just they just man, most of them is just using the um the Lord's name, the Lord for filthy filthy lucre's sake, so to speak. Because if they actually got into the scriptures, you'll see in Acts. Acts chapter 7, in verse 48, it says, How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet? Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Have not my hand made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and eunuch and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did, so do ye. Yeah. The Most High clearly said that he doesn't dwell in temples made by hands because he's too big. He, he, wasn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't fitting and he made it all, so... How can you dwell in temples made by hand? But, like I said, they got the zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge, because Jake always want to believe in something, because even whether they um practicing Christianity or Islam or Buddhism, whatever, they, they, they know that it's something. They know it's something bigger than, what it, than, than themselves, because... They always say, oh, I believe in the um, high power, but they just don't completely have the um, knowledge. Let me get another scripture, um, Acts chapter 17, verse 22, it say, Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotion, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. Power that made the world and all things therein, saying that he is Lord of heaven, and earth dwelleth not in temples made with hands. See, that's written again. So if you go on these scriptures, you will see that that the Most High doesn't dwell in the temples made of hand. Basically, these churches who the who our Lord basically call harlot houses. And what's the main thing people say? Oh, you looking for a woman or you looking for a man? Go to church. <laughs> but those not the true woman and men of Lord, men of the Lord. They even have women preachers. And we already know, as it is written in um First Timothy two and eleven, it says it says I suffer a woman not to teach. 
And then they got this thing when they say, oh, come to the front of the church for um, salvation. When we that had the knowledge of the scriptures know that we don't know who's going to be um, saved. We just know the elect, and it's not for everybody. The, the pastor can't save you. That's why his name is, our king and savior name is Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai meaning deliver or savior is in Hebrew because he's the one that's going to deliver his elect out of the destruction to come. But to all the people that's, Design the day of the Lord is written in Amos 5 and 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, you have a shot not gonna come back with roses, smiling, hugging and kissing everybody, just any and everybody. He's coming for his elect to be delivered. It's not gonna be pretty. It's everything's gonna start getting worse. Like they said, these devils, the devil that the Bible speak of is the so-called white man, the descendants of Esau, Edom. They coming down with great wrath, pushing all this homosexuality and trying to get everybody to take this popular shot. But the Lord's people the men of the Lord, the men of the Lord's people do as if Yahweh, as Yahweh Shah told to do. Like it's written in um, Romans chapter 12. But this is from Apostle Paul though. But it said, Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of power, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto power, which is your reasonable service. And the way that we do that is going out in the highways and the hedges and prophesying about what's to come. Basically, doing what Noah did when he was prophesying about the flood coming. But a lot of our people, and especially the heathen, don't 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 believe it. They they say they just walk by. That's why two thirds of our people are gonna be destroyed and had to be delivered through the loins of an elect member. Like it's written in um, Matthew. 24 and 20. Let me let me get basically where I got that from. 24 and um Matthew 24 and um in 37 it said, but as the days of no were so sh were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. So yeah, like it's written, um, the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Thief in the night, <laughs> basically. But this time it's not going to be the water. It's going to be the fire. Nuclear fire, the nuclear missiles that these other countries got, like Russia, when they plan on shooting them over here at America, because America was built off stealing, robbing, killing, etc. And basically lies. So they're gonna come. They're gonna. That's that's how this. That's how this um kingdom is going to end. And. The Israelites kingdom is gonna be established. Let me get it. Um Matthew. I mean Malachi chapter four say, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble in the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So yeah, a lot of 
people are going to be burnt up during that time. If you don't get right, rehearse the righteous acts, as it's written, Judges 5 and 11. Um, repent. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. And be converted. 